coming up soon on Circle of Willis, I've got Brian Nosick. Here's a preview. What scientist gets into the field because they say, you know what, I like writing papers and grants. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's not a yeah. thing. No, that, that right? stuff just makes me cry. <laughs> no, yeah. And of course we do those things, but no one gets into it to do those things. No. No. And so that's the real challenge is that because the system of rewards is focused on those things, yeah, that we start to sort of drift away from why we are scientists in the first place. Okay, but here's the here's the critical question then for me is has that really done damage to yeah. the conversation. Right. I mean, sure, you know, it's right. depressing. It's yes. kind of a drag, <laughs> yeah. right? You know, okay. Everybody's miserable, we've got but at least we're making yeah, progress. But, right. You know, <laughs> you know and, and, and there's, there's, a, there's a great qu- quote yeah. uh, from, I can't remember which which essay by Peter Medawar uh, saying something like, you know, you know, all of these terrible things about science and scientists are 100% true. Yeah. And somehow that still hasn't kept science from becoming the most successful human endeavor in yeah. history. Right. So wh- where, where do we stand now? Do yeah. You think? And I, th- I think I totally agree with the comment, right? It is the most successful endeavor in human history to figure out how things work yeah. to advance. Right? Oh, virtually all of Medicine, our technological rockets, progress you know, can be attributed right. to science. So for me, it's not a question of is, is it broken? You know, is it's not working? It's more of can we do this better? Uh-huh. Uh, and to me, the, the answer is an obvious yes, right? I think we are – uh, much less efficient in terms of the pace of discovery and the enjoyment, f- frankly, of discovery, then we could, we could improve that dramatically. And, and the core reasons, I think, are that because that system of reward is focused on publishing as frequently as possible in the most prestigious place as possible, it pulls on strands of basic fallibilities in human reasoning. A, yeah. a scientist doing science that lead us away from the most efficient means of discovery. If there are certain things that are more publishable than other things, right? That's the reward I need. Yeah. There's got to be some basis of reward. I got to count something. If there are certain things that are more likely to be rewarded, then I'm going to make use of these enormous frontal lobes <laughs> in order to make sure I get as many of those things as possible. Yep. Right. And so I need positive results more than negative results. I need novel results more than repetition. You need, you need to show up in the New York need, Times. You need to, yeah, to have to, a lot of productivity right. that and you can it, point to. And it's got to be exciting and sexy and interesting. And yeah. of course, who doesn't want those things? Of course I yeah. want those things. But if those are the only things I'm rewarded for, right, if I can't publish my negative results, if I can't publish a replication or a way to try to verify or increase the precision of existing estimates, if I can't publish things that don't have a neat and tidy story where it all wraps up together, then I am faced with a dilemma in the yeah. lab. Competing right? Competing interests. Demands, yeah. Right. The, what's happening in the lab when I'm studying those hard problems that keep me up at night, that get me all excited, that drive us to get into science in the first place. Yeah. When I'm actually studying those, there's all kinds of false starts. Yes. There's all kinds of mess. There's all yeah. kinds of things that don't yeah, make yeah. sense. Right? That's, that's the joy of doing the science in the first place is that slow pace toward actual yeah, discovery. Yeah, sure, sure. But the incentives are all about, nope, it's got to be clean, tidy, and you got to do more of it. Yeah, And so now I have this situation of what's really happening in the lab is kind of messy. All the incentives are for beauty. And so where, what do I do? There's a lot of flexibility in how science gets done. I have many studies that I do and only a subset get written up. I have many ways to analyze my data and only a subset might get into the paper. All of that flexibility then creates opportunity for me to leverage uh, making beauty out of mush. <laughs> <laughs>